Brexit is dead. <laughs> Before the usual speech, here's Jacob Rees-Mogg. We can prosper on that basis. We would set our own tariffs. We could have cheaper food, clothing and footwear straight away by getting rid of the protectionist anti-trade tariffs that the EU imposes. And it would be very good for the British people and it would provide certainty. And I think once there's certainty, the country will begin to reunite. Before we carry on, what have we learned so far? Well, a lot of older people who voted for Brexit are dead. Others are regretting putting the ex in the box to leave. Boris Johnson, who ran the Leave campaign, is officially denounced as a liar. Well, who believes Boris Johnson was telling the truth yesterday? <laughs> wow. Farmers are feeling the effect. Why is the price of food going up so rapidly? Um, basically because production is, is falling off a cliff at the moment. Post-Brexit, uh, we created this labour vacuum. The response to the Covid pandemic was compromised because of Brexit, meaning unnecessary deaths. In the face of Brexit and the threats that a disorganised Brexit could do, um, we took... Um, the resources were moved across the department uh, to focus on that threat, including away from pandemic preparedness planning. And there's few or no checks at the port of Dover, so lorries are bringing in rotting, possibly contaminated food. The answer is to get back in the single market and free us up because there are no advantages to Brexit whatsoever, particularly for food production and food security and, and public health. Remember what Jacob Rees-Mogg was saying earlier? On that basis, we would set our own tariffs. We could have cheaper food, clothing and footwear straight away by getting rid of the protectionist anti-trade tariffs that the EU imposes. Well, now there's this. Brexit is adding to the overall cost of our food. Brexit is in the news again because there's been some new research from the London School of Economics saying that a third of food price inflation is being driven by Brexit. Third. Now, they account that to seven billion of extra border costs and increased regulations. Click here for some more Brexit is dead.